The Taliban has introduced a new set of regulations in Afghanistan, including a ban on women's voices and faces in public, underscoring their strict interpretation of Islamic law. The 114-page document, consisting of 35 articles, was published on August 21st and reflects the Taliban's commitment to their Ministry for the Propagation of Virtue and the Prevention of Vice, which was reinstated after their return to power in 2021 following the US military withdrawal. The regulations mandate that women must wear full-body veils and face coverings when in public to avoid tempting men, and their clothing must be neither tight nor short. Women are also prohibited from singing or reading aloud in public and are restricted from looking at men who are not blood relatives or spouses. Additionally, women are not allowed to travel alone. The new laws extend to other aspects of daily life, including bans on images of living beings and music. The Taliban's supreme leader, Hibatullah Akunzada, has endorsed these regulations, granting the ministry the authority to enforce them through warnings or arrests. This development follows a critical United Nations report from July, which accused the Taliban of human rights violations and arbitrary enforcement measures. The UN mission in Afghanistan's report highlighted that the Taliban's regulations have fostered a climate of fear and intimidation, particularly among women and girls. August 15 is a black day for all the women and girls of Afghanistan because the Taliban took over my country and I was in Kabul preparing for the Tokyo Paralympics. In a day, the lives of women and girls in Afghanistan changed forever and for me it was really hard to make it to Tokyo. Alison Davidian, head, Afghanistan Country Office, UN Women, voiced significant concern over the findings which documented severe and disproportionate punishments for those defying the new laws. To date, no woman in Afghanistan has a leadership position anywhere that has influence politically, either at national or provincial level. When women are engaged in the Taliban's structures, it's, their roles are largely to monitor compliance of other women with their discriminatory decrees. And this political erasure is really mirrored at social level. In response to the UN report, the Taliban's Ministry for the Propagation of Virtue and the Prevention of Vice dismissed the criticisms, asserting that their decrees are intended to reform society and should be enforced. The implementation of these regulations marks a continuation of the Taliban's stringent policies and has a profound impact on the daily lives of Afghan women and the broader population.